Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether? Connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this! Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other... Hey, Olivia, we're going to the order for a reason, okay? And that reason is because they'll know what to do. If you don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard's, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> So long as you really know what you're doing with it. tracks now time to move buddy let's go <laughs> to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering? Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. <laughs> Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, uh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Sure, if you can save the world. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. And Eligard isn't one for appointments. The world is going to get eaten by a giant monster if you don't let us talk to Eligard. Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Of course, you might also want to hang on to it. Okay, sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. No idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. Ooh, lava curtain. That is flashy. Hey, a redstone repeater. That's just what I need. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty, but some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people, I did. Need a hand with anything? <laughs> oh, you, you're, you're serious? <laughs> Hilarious. No, from you, no. Why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows.
Maybe that guy has something I could use. Oh man, stone! Jackpot! That's some nice stone. Still warm. Hi there! What? what Look, you're gonna have to speak up there! Oh, I just said hi! Much better! What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now! Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry! None of those to spare! How does your machine work? Still a work in progress! But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around! Cool! Theoretically. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. Hey. Have you seen all these inventions? These inventors are all incredible. So, crafting a repeater, how do you do that? We need three stone, two redstone torches, and one pile of redstone dust to make one. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowpult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed, be astounded, let your wonders be compounded! Hey, you got any spare repeaters? I could really use one. Oh, sorry friend, tapped out. And what do you have here? You are about to witness the world's first cowapult machine. I came up with the idea when I lived in a place called Boomtown, but now I am here and the cows are a-flying! Are you still here? Oh no! Oh no! 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 So high! Going so very high! Sorry! Nothing. Worth a shot, I guess. Did Sandy just take off? Oh, I never thought she'd actually be able to do it. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, crazy, right? She, she just took off. Guess she just really wanted to fly. Anyway... Stupid cow launching... <clears throat> you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? 
You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I've got some redstone torches, though. Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. Just be going, then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Oh, she's driving me nuts with that! Sheesh. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, if you could do something about that whole situation, I'll hook you up with some primo crafting stuff. Deal? I'll see what I can do. But notice you checking out my cowapult, friend. It's got an easy-to-use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first. <gasps> oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. It's safe, right? I mean, I wouldn't want... Oh, I've never known anything so safe in my life. Okay, Reuben, it's time for a game of... Super Pig! <laughs> Congratulations! You've just managed to catapult a cow for no apparent reason. Cows don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. Hey, that farmer over there sent me, the one with all the sugar cane. Yeah, I've seen her. Well, all the cowapulting is really bothering her. Do you think you could stop? Oh, <laughs> well, she's just gonna have to suck it up. No way. Come on, isn't this beneath you? You've already perfected the cowapult, clearly. Shouldn't you start turning your attention to new pursuits? You actually make a lot of sense, friend. Maybe it is time to find my next masterpiece to be. Huh, thanks for helping me get my head right. Hmm, maybe a Tremu Shay next. Just be going, then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Hey, thanks for taking care of that cow-launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. That's some primo crafting material right there. Awesome, thanks. Okay, I can do this. Redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone repeater. Done. Pretty nice, if I may compliment myself.
Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Bam, door open. Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. <laughs> what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man. Look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients... Try not to touch anything? I wasn't gonna touch anything. I was just going to look really carefully. Come on, let's keep moving. That's awesome. Like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request, operational. Delivery latency, speedy. Still talking to myself? Yep. Uh huh, okay. All right, here we go. Let's rock this block with another test.
Whoa! Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. Yep, that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <gasps> adorable pig, that is! <laughs> Jessie? She thinks we're her new assistants. Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you! Goggle Girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. <laughs> wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Okay, delivery circuit is on. Blaze rod, iron block. Blaze rod. It's all tingly. Just what the engineer ordered. Uh, Eligard, I got those things you asked for? Ah, excellent. Fantastic. Love it. Always happy to have a capable set of hands around. Carrying materials, disposing of fainted assistants. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Another bust. Now, about you three. Excuse me? Excuse me. Could you please not lie on my floor anymore? Someone's gonna trip over you while carrying lava, and it's gonna be such a mess. Lava everywhere. And boy, nothing gets lava out. Nothing. Except more lava. I don't think that I've ever fainted before. I was just so excited to meet you, and... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? Calvin? You know about Ivor? He's created a terrible monster. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block.
capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. You've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? So, could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? This is the Eligard you're talking to. Who is me, if you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Oh, yeah. Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on. You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. I don't understand. How did you escape? You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Did anyone else get away? Were there any other survivors? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, was just gone. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Boy, I can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... Adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. And this is a problem? You bet it is. I will not work with him. Not after... Mm, well, let's not talk about it. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So... Who are you, then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Yeah, and you two are going to have to get along, okay? We didn't even know you were gonna be here. That makes two of us, then. But reverse, for me. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the King of Boomtown. We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Boomtown? That's the name of Magnus's kingdom. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well... This is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. But I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very sweet. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. But against such an unthinkable enemy, 
Even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. Only Soren were here. He might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. Well, the Formidabomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether, or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. Then let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super tea. Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Blue? Blue? That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous! We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus, and I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go now. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan. But fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Yo, we haven't really gotten the chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. I can dig it. Kinda wish you had my back before. But whatever. Still seem alright. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? Yeah, he's kind of a jerk sometimes, but he's our jerk, you know? Can't help but like him. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea or didn't think you could handle it? I do have that effect on people sometimes. Ooh, awkward silence. Always a stunning endorsement. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. See? This is 
why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither storm. We can hash all that out later. We got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Soren? It has to be close, right? Not much farther we can make it! isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Endermen. There are so many, I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. Sorry if I scared you. away. That's it. I'm going. See? I'm walking away too now. Super TNT. Here I come. It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. They've definitely got issues to work through. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Petra. 
Hey. You okay? Petra, are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. So let's split up. bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. You got me away from the wither storm, but I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. What? showed up not too long after you saved me. What happened? The wither made you sick? Do you know what wither is? The wither? Of course, we've been... No, Jesse. Just wither, or wither sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. Creeper! Uh, grab my hand, I'll pull you up. Jesse, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. Jesse? Hey, you're the one that's sick. Take care of yourself first. I'll be okay. Okay, I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. have something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Is he just collecting them? He can't have read all of these. Mm. You. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. I have just calm down, okay? I think we're here for the same reason. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Wait, but I... Oh, you're not going anywhere. 
Petra, you escaped? <laughs> ha! Foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. Ha! <laughs> Way, Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> it's one of his invisibility potions. He could be anywhere. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away with this. This one's on you, you puffed up fool! of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. We stopped him. Jesse did, anyway. False. You have stopped nothing. A query. Have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? That they can destroy the Wither Storm? But they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. <laughs>